Good morning and welcome to another lockdown vlog. But today's vlog, we are actually leaving the house for a medical purpose. So I definitely had to vlog today because we were actually going out. Um, I am seeing my midwife um, at midday today. So um, obviously you're allowed to leave the house for medical purposes. Um, and this will be the first time I've been out um, Will be four weeks tomorrow since I've left the house so nearly four weeks um, since I've actually kind of been anywhere other than going on our little path walk and stuff like that because um, we're still allowed to do that at the moment so I am 34 weeks pregnant today so we have about six weeks to go which is crazy um, I didn't actually know if today's appointment would go ahead because my last one um, I was due to see the midwife the day after um, the Prime Minister announced the sort of kind of official lockdown. Official, unofficial, I don't really know what to call it. Um, and it got cancelled, my last face-to-face -face appointment. Um, but today's one is actually going ahead. I'm assuming that's because I'm like so far pregnant now. Maybe they do have to actually see you um, to check um, like baby's position and stuff like that I'm not really sure I'm sure she will um tell me everything today um I was actually I was quite disappointed that we didn't get to see her last time because obviously I have a lot of questions to ask at the moment um what with everything going on and like just kind of finding out what is what really because obviously everything has changed in the last six weeks or so um so yeah got lots of questions to ask today um, Oliver isn't allowed in, obviously, because of social distancing and stuff like that. He usually, if he can come with me, he comes in. Um, I don't think there's any blood tests or anything like that today. Um, so, yeah, we've got that at midday today. That is our outing out of the house. Um, and then I do actually have a hospital appointment next week as well, which I think they still want me to go to. Um, another scan so yes we will actually be having a few outings in the next couple of weeks um but we're still kind of like on the lockdown here and i'm sure we will be for probably the foreseeable month or so probably um so yeah um i don't think i've shown you yet but this is the pack that i take it's got all my medical notes in it I think that they might actually give me the baby's medical notes soon as well because you have to take that um, to the hospital with you and then you take a urine sample every time you go and if you're a pregnant lady I've got a bit of a hack for you because um, every time you see the midwife they check your urine um, just basically to check that you've not got um, is it preeclampsia? Pro protein. Oh protein yeah and it's like protein in the urine and stuff like that which I think is part of preeclampsia isn't it? it's a sign or something um but you have to take this sample pot with you like every time you see the midwife and obviously you don't really want like a pot of pee in your handbag and stuff and um, so i put it in this like separate um plastic wallet so if you've got anything like that if you are pregnant and you have to see a midwife um, that's a little hack there take your urine sample in a separate um plastic wallet so that you don't have to worry about we leaking in your handbag and stuff so they're the two things that you take to see the midwife like i say i think we will be getting our notes because i think you get like a new book of notes for the baby and um, they might give us that today i'm not sure um so yeah lots of questions today i need to try and remember what to ask and stuff because um obviously all the protocols are going to be different now um and yeah just trying trying to get organized now i'm thinking that um i'm gonna pack my hospital bag this week um just get everything as 
super super organized as possible really which is the sort of person that I am anyway but especially in a pandemic and the baby on the way got to be organized and we've got everything now pretty much um for the baby but it's just getting it all like organized and set up and packing a hospital bag and yes so we are leaving the house today Thank you. We are just sat in the dining room waiting till it's time to leave really aren't we? Yes, <laughs> it's not as good weather but it's, it, it was a very nice week of weather that we had wasn't it? So, yeah, Easter was good. Yeah. Um, it was like 24? Mm. 23? 20, 22 and 23 for a few days wasn't it? But it's a lot cooler today and the sun's not shining um in other exciting news things that you didn't think that you'd be celebrating in 2020 we managed to get a tesco's online food shop delivery slot for friday like you wouldn't you weren't able to get one for the whole month and then i rang one of my customers who's local and she was like oh i've just managed to get a tesco delivery and i was like when did you put that in she was like half an hour ago and i was like really like yeah there are slots so i don't know if they're doing like slots for postcodes in areas if they're all if that say there's oh, an yeah. order already a delivery driver in this yeah, area that might, that might be what it, what it is um, yeah. and then they're releasing them sort of like nearer the time so we've got a tesco's online shop coming friday so i might have to vlog friday because that's another exciting thing who ever thought that they would get excited about an your, online your, shop your vlogs are going places mate well, it's the lockdown life, isn't it? You know. Locked up, don't let me out. Are you snoring? Whistling. So yeah, Tesco shop. Boom. Right. So we are gonna leave in a minute, but I just thought I would show you my bump. Um, and don't actually think I've addressed the snooze pod, or I've shown you it. And um, so I'll just quickly show you that as well. Um, but this is, um. The bump at the moment it's quite big and um, i've got my maternity jeans on today um suddenly it's just got pretty enormous i'll put my t-shirt down and um, this is actually quite a loose t-shirt um i ordered this before i knew i was pregnant and normally like with t-shirts i like t-shirts well i used to like t-shirts quite tight and tight fitted um but this was quite baggy and it wasn't really the sort of style that I usually go for but for some reason like it's almost like my body I bought a couple of things that were like bigger than I would have normally gone for um, before I even knew I was pregnant it was sort of like an intuitive sort of thing that I had I think like almost like my body knew but I didn't know am I making any sense so yeah got a bit bit of a baggy t-shirt on um it's from Bowdoin I don't own anything from Bowdoin but I really like it um and it's quite comfy but I'm a little bit cold in it because it's quite chilly um so yeah this is I think I've mentioned it but I don't think I've really shown it it's been in the background of one of my videos um this is our snooze pod um which baby will sleep in sort of like hopefully for the first three to six months of their life um, it's just got my um, nursing pillow in there at the moment and it rocks um, obviously it's on a it's on a rug at the moment because we didn't want to have um, make it like leave um, prints on the new carpet but you can actually attach it to the bed which I'm not sure if we're going to do or not if we're just going to keep it here we haven't really um, discussed it um, and then the sides can come if you do attach it to the bed like you can take the side down and the like the bassinet thing this lifts off obviously i can't do it at the moment because i've only got one hand um so like you can move that bit about and stuff um so yeah that's cute obviously um we've got pink bedding on at the moment so it does it looks a little bit better when i've got my gray bedding on um because it sort of matches a little bit more but yeah that's nice and neutral and then it's got a um little fitted sheet and I bought a waterproof sheet for the mattress as well. Um, so yeah, that's the snooze pod. Um, I just need Oliver to 
do my watch for me because it's not been done um where the clock's changed and then we are probably gonna just take a slow drive out to the midwife in a car going somewhere who is the roads are really quiet it's so eerie i'm not used to seeing it like this you you had to drive to take um Oliver's car needed a new battery like everything happened at once yep. so he's he's driven a couple of times and kind of seen what the roads are like but I haven't literally been in a car um, for weeks and yeah the roads are pretty quiet um, compared to what they used to anyway so it's kind of weird there's more people like there are more people walking than you'd normally see um, but yeah roads are quiet home for a little while actually i was absolutely starving when i got back so i needed to make some lunch um because obviously my appointment was at midday oh have i got chocolate on my lips um yeah everything went well i'm going back to see the midwife in three weeks a little bit of a kind of waiting and seeing what happens situation with everything at the minute um like in regards to the birth and who you know like how long Oliver can be there and stuff like that um so yeah we've just got to continue waiting and seeing really um they're not given a new pack which I'm going to read later labour information pack I'm sure that's going to be very light-hearted reading not um, so yeah, I'm probably going to read that later. Um, we'll go down and take it down now. And then I'm going to have a little sort out in the baby's room and pack my hospital bag, I think. doing the toilet paper challenge which uh when you're eight months pregnant it's bad it's bad for the bladder I'm not gonna lie might have just oh, wet myself That's there for you. It's not. <sighs> oh my goodness. I've come over all sleepy. <sighs> Excuse me. I know. Such thrilling content. Um, so we have just been um, set up in the baby's room. 
uh, because I wanted to sort the changing unit out and just sort of like organize it and stuff um we've done that and then I've started my hospital bag I've got an idea of what I'm going to pack um I found an old thin cotton dressing gown just in case I have to stay in overnight and it's cold or whatever um and I'm just running that through the wash um with a few other bits uh, we washed some more baby bits from a hamper that Oliver's family gave us um, and then I'm going to pack them clothes in the hospital bag because obviously baby needs some clothes um, so yeah we've had a productive afternoon and I'm just so sleepy now and we are having spaghetti meatballs um, tonight Oliver fancied spag bowl and um, last time my mum did a food shop for us she got like a big pack of meatballs so I froze half well actually I froze them in two lots of because I think there was like 24 usually you get like 12 in a pack um, so I froze them so I said why don't we have spaghetti meatballs for a change so that is what we're having for dinner oh my god that's what you all did and then I've prepared like a little basket um, f like of nappies, baby wipes and like spare change of clothes for baby um, to keep like downstairs in the living room because obviously there are times like when we'll need to change the baby quickly and we can't like go up to the changing unit. Um, so we've got that sort of in a corner in the living room and um, just a little basket of bits um so yes we've been trying to keep busy but I feel like I need a nap now Dinner is a cooking. We've got meatballs and spaghetti, which when we have meatballs, we tend to make it in a meatball bake. I think I said earlier, but we're gonna have it with spaghetti today, just for a change, just to try and change things up. Um, so yeah, I will probably end this vlog, show you our finished dinner, and then I will end today's vlog, just in case it's too long already. So hopefully you've enjoyed this, uh, slightly different day going to see the midwife when that's a day out apparently yeah thanks for watching i'll see you again soon bye and i think i am going to make that iced coffee